Hey everybody, it's Gabe, and I'm going to be showing you how to fix the design of the newsletter. So here we're on the design page, and um, I deleted a few things already, just because I wanted to show you how to edit um, the newsletter from scratch, kind of. And so underneath the, the gray text, let's say I wanted to add an image. I would take this image block, drag it right under the gray text, and this is going to pop up. So drop an image or browse. I'm assuming you can drop an image from your desktop, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to browse my, my image library. So I just uploaded this picture, the compost on campus, using this button. And once you click upload, it'll take you to your files, and you could just pick whichever picture you'd like, or you could import from URL. So I'm going to include the compost on campus, and I'm going to insert it into the image block and it is it's in um, some pictures might be a little bigger but um, if it says in a little error message saying that you should reduce your file size you can just click the little link and um, I chose 500 600 is recommended um, so I would just go with what's recommended just so the picture is at a higher resolution so I have this picture um, I don't really like how it looks it's actually a little too big so I'm actually gonna delete it and so now no image and a little few details on what the content blocks have it's a delete it's a duplicate and an edit edit button and um, this square right here is just to, to drag and move content blocks so to show you this would duplicate it that button right here that's the duplicate content blocks. And that's helpful when you just want two of the same blocks after each other. So to edit what's inside, you click this little pencil button, and then I can start editing what's inside the content block, like that. You get text, you can put in images, and um, yeah, that's how you edit that content block. Let's see what other stuff they have. Save and close. So let's say I wanted to add a divider. I would just drag it right in between the two content blocks. Uh, let's say I want to add an image card, which is an image with a little text at the bottom. Drag and paste, or drag and drop. And then I would input the caption right here that's where the caption would be and then the image just browse and insert so this is UC Merced save and close but that's ugly so I'm gonna delete it and um, if you want to get a little fancy if you know how somebody how knows how to code you can drop your own custom HTML, um, but that's some you know that's some advanced stuff. I don't even know how to do it. Um, but if you find someone new's code, awesome. Those are some of it. Um, you don't really need social shares. Uh, I've included them all at the bottom. Um, you could include a button, call to action. Um, it could be like a, a link to, let's say, the UCTV. So, UCTV, click here, and then the web address, insert it right here, advanced options, yeah, I don't know what that means, so yeah, UCTV, click here, include the web address for UCTV, oh, nope. Oh. That is not it. There we go. Put that in the web address. I could also edit the style, the border, if I wanted it dashed. Um, if I wanted the color a little bit different. And um, if I wanted the size a little bit bigger, smaller. Padding. So how big the 
stuff is going to be, the stuff around it. So if I wanted it bigger, I would do 50, 50 padding. If I wanted it smaller, I would do 10. Settings, align center, align left, align right, align center, width, full width, fit to text. Um, let's see, border style could be dashed, put one, and um, the radii, there we go. Or let's say I wanted a, a dotted. Now you see, now you see it's a dotted border, but that's obviously too much. It could be a dotted border, it could be dashed. Let's make it a green background. Oops, there we go. And um, yeah, so once that's done, I can't click it right now, but it would go to that address. Don't like it, I'll delete it. And um, other than that, that's pretty much all the other content blocks. Um, all the ones are self-explanatory, so like an image group would literally be just a bunch of images. Um, you could have multiple images, two, two, or you could add another image, three, for however images you may want and you go to the settings to see how you want it laid out um, and other than that that looks like all the other content blocks I'm gonna be saving this I'm gonna be saving this as a template and um, you'll be able to edit the August newsletter um, in the campaign um, section